On today's show, an out of this world report, news from the capital, upcoming music events, Hot Ezra shares, Hickson party, checking out the buzz from Hickson Hive, from the net. China launched its new space station, the Changdeng One, or Heavenly Palace, on September 29th at 1.16 p.m. It orbits at an altitude of 220 miles. Astronauts will be sent to Hey, check out Matters Workshop, where Hicks and students are sharing their expertise. Yeah, wouldn't you especially like this time to play this guitar? Tony La Russa announced his retirement just days after the Cardinals won their 11th World Series in 2011. Who will be their new manager? On this episode of the Hickson News Show, news from around the world, what's happening this holiday season in Hickson and Webster, a few words from Dr. Heiser, things to do when you're bored over winter break, and we'll check out all the buzz over at the Hickson Hive. Six astronauts just came out of a simulation of a mission to Mars. They were locked in a capsule for 520 days, the time it would take to go to Mars and come back. Coming up on December 16th and 17th at the Hickson Auditorium is the Pirates of Pendants musical. Be sure you'll be there and check out the trailer at the Hickson Hive. It's going to be totally epic. brand new show format. Before we get going into the year 2012, we thought it would be fun to take a look back at the, all the news from 2011. So, on today's show, we have the top 10 stories from 2011, the top 5 student picks from 2011, Dr. Heiser reflects on 2011, and we check out all the buzz at the Hicks and Hive. Woo! What if everything was taken away from you and you were left with only the shattered remains of your life? In April of 2011, the largest tornado outbreak on record swept across the, th the southern states, the Midwest, and the Northeast, killing 346 people. Alabama suffered the most damage, and the college town of Tuscaloosa turned into a disaster zone. The Joplin, Missouri tornado hit just three weeks later and marked the deadliest single tornado in 60 years. Neighborhoods were destroyed and hundreds of people were helpless. A lot of us, being from Missouri especially, have helped out the Joplin tornado victims. The Occupy Wall Street was a group of people in New York who protested the wealthiest people in America, called the 1%, having so much power and influence over the rest of us, or the 99%. The movement spread across the country, and there was even a group of protesters who camped out in St. Louis, Missouri in the fall of 2011. The movement gave many people who are unhappy with their current economic status the opportunity to be heard. Arab Spring is a movement protesting against the governments of countries in the Middle East and North Africa due to, the gov due to government corruption, extreme poverty, human rights violations, and unemployment. It began in December of 2010 when a fruit stand vendor in Tunisia lit himself on fire in protest against his government. The movement later spread to Egypt and Libya, Libya and resulted in the death of Muammar Gaddafi, the dictator ruler of Libya. This also occurred in Syria, Yemen, and other countries. The majority of the protesters were people not much older than us, risking their lives for democracy, the form of government we saw. Hey people, did you know that some millionaires, such as Bon Jovi, are getting tax breaks for raising bees because they can count their houses as farms? I did know that. I did not know that. No one asked you! Bye.